Say, I'd like to talk to you briefly, but as emphatically as I can, about the greatest news story to come out of the textile industry in the past 10 years. Now, I know that's a big statement, but uh, I've been privileged to bring you many of the big stories originating with Bates over the past years, and I think I know a big story when I see one. That's my business. This news is sensational. It comes after five long years and many hundreds of thousands of dollars in patient research and experiment, and the result is a fabulous new fabric that has been made to behave. Now, I'll go into detail in just a minute. I would first like to give you the reason for this pictorial sales pitch. It is just this. I would like to make it easier for you to sell this disciplined fabric, and in so doing, to put more money in your pocket. Now, let's see what there is to this disciplined story, the story of the fabric that has been made to behave. These two dresses were packed in Sun Valley, Idaho, three days ago. Here's the natural result of a three-day packing. It looks like she slept in it. Here's the disciplined fabric, completely recovered after a few minutes, not a wrinkle left in it. The recovery rate of a Bates disciplined fabric is fantastically fast. One reason, not commonly known, is that it takes about 5,000 construction experiments to achieve a disciplined fabric. These two dresses have been subjected to this machine test for 72 days. Be sure to emphasize these other great qualities. Bates Discipline Fabrics are water repellent to an amazing degree. They're guaranteed never to mildew. Their quick drying characteristic is a permanent quality. Yes, in a disciplined sample of tissue plaid, the lady is really dressed for singing in the rain. Here is something that shouldn't happen to your closest competitor. Here are two of the dresses after a single washing. One of them is ruined by the watery rust. The other, as good as new. Now this instance of the exploding radiator valve, you think that was a fantasy? Well, let me read you a letter. This is a letter written to Bates by Johnny Lee Essex, a famous West Coast designer. I quote, the explosion sprayed rust and hot, dirty water on all the dresses ready for our big fashion show. All were permanently ruined except those of Bates' disciplined fabric. These being soil resistant, laundered easily, and looked so fresh, we used these same dresses the entire season with great success in sales. Other dresses featuring a resin treatment could not be washed clean and tore easily. You're right when you say the advantages of Bates' discipline finish are permanent for the life of the fabric." End quote. Now there is an actual instance where a Bates' discipline fabric survived a real catastrophe. Here's a salesman just in from a six weeks trip. Let's see how his samples have taken the trip. In striking contrast to these crumpled and dilapidated samples, note the discipline fabrics. Still fresh, still resilient. Now, I think you'll agree that they'll sell better and faster at retail as well as wholesale levels because the samples stay fresh and unwrinkled. Yes, he's a happy salesman who packs his sales punch with an array of disciplined samples. And the disciplined story is all wrapped up in this tried and tested guarantee. Bates Disciplined Fabric releases creases, resists dirt, perspiration, and mildew, stays fresh and clean much longer, never needs starch, is easy and fast to wash, dry, and iron, has a lovelier luster, finer hand, is unconditionally guaranteed, color fast, and shrinkage controlled, and all its advantages are permanent for the life of the fabric. And we turn the page to read the most powerful punchline of the year, just hang it up, backed by the hardest hitting advertising of the year. So, are you shooting for bigger sales? So then take advantage of the greatest advertising campaign in Bates history. Every picture sells high style. Every word sells easy upkeep. There's never been such a hard-selling, concentrated campaign that reached so many millions of women. There's never been such a chance for exciting store displays and promotion. Here then is the discipline story, to be seen by millions on the nation's television screens, in the schools and colleges, and by countless women's clubs. The discipline story, the textile industry's crowning achievement of a decade. Thanks and good luck. <laughs>
it's a wonderfully exciting age we live in here in America. It's been an age of progress, progress shared by everybody. You take autos, for instance. The 50 million on U.S. highways put the beaches, mountains, and cities in range of families everywhere. And television. Yesterday's curiosity is now virtually a must in millions of American homes. The tools for better living that we have in America make us the envy of the modern world. For we have produced not for the few, but for the many. Look down our main streets and see these well-dressed people from all walks of life. Fabrics that kings could not buy a few years ago are daily sights from Maine to California. Now this is no accident. For America's modern textile industry, producing over 100 yards a year for every person in the nation, stands in the very forefront of this age. The fabrics it produces are made from a wide list of raw materials. They're divided into the products of nature, cotton, wool, and linen. And the products of chemistry. With these raw materials, Wonderful new fabrics can be made using the special qualities of each fiber. Or they can be blended. This new Dynalon is a blend of cotton, dynel, and nylon. Or through chemistry and research, special properties can be added to existing fibers. Take cotton. In one year, American farmers grow seven billion pounds. Now that's more than all other fibers put together. Through the magic of the laboratory and the loom, King Cotton can play many roles. Utility, service, and wear. Or sheer and glamorous beauty. Cotton can be smooth and lustrous, embossed, or made to look like wool. Or it can be given the ability to recover from wrinkling. In short, Cotton can now be given qualities never before dreamed of. When a woman buys a dress or material to make a dress, she wants to keep it as fresh and bright as the day she bought it. By punishing laboratory tests, makers of fine comb cottons have for years seen to it that their fabrics would wear well and would not shrink or fade. But American women leading active lives needed and asked for another quality, easy upkeep. They wanted a fabric that would look fresh all day and would not need ironing after every wearing. Now we don't mean wrinkle-proof. The only outfit that was ever truly wrinkle-proof was a suit of armor, and that was no prize for comfort. It's recovery from wrinkles that counts. After years of research, scientists found the answer. Disciplined fabrics made to behave the way women want them to. A fabric that has many added fine qualities. Wrinkles bounce out. Just hang them up. Discipline fabrics stay clean and fresh much longer. They don't need starch when washed. They dry more quickly. And they're much easier to iron. They have a lovelier luster, and best of all, these qualities last for the life of the garment. These easy-to-care-for fabrics have an interesting story behind them. The discipline story starts at the modern plant of the Bates Manufacturing Company in the state of Maine, exclusive makers of discipline fabrics. Here, the fine, long staple cotton from many bales is blended to ensure uniformity of color and quality. After a preliminary cleaning, a conveyor belt takes it to the picking machine, where it's cleaned again. Rolled on a big cylinder in the form of a lap, it's carefully weighed before it goes to the carding operation. Here, fine wires brush out and straighten the tangled fibers. Emerging in a web, they're combined into a sliver or loose, untwisted rope and coiled in cans. More blending is in store, as 20 of these slivers are combined on this lap winder. The lap that this machine makes goes to a drawing frame, which draws out or pulls the fibers into a more parallel form by the use of rollers. This helps make more even threads. 
the fibers are now ready for the vital manufacturing operation essential to all disciplined fabrics, combing. As the cotton passes between dozens of extremely fine-toothed combs, shorter fibers are removed. On the right are the short fibers, which combing eliminates. Not good enough for disciplined fabrics. On the left, the longer and stronger fibers that remain. Only 8% of all cotton sold in America today have this extra process. All disciplined fabrics are made from combed yarns. After still another blending and drawing operation, the sliver goes to the roving machine. This draws the cotton strands into smaller and smaller diameters, giving the fibers a slight twist. This is spinning. Here the fibers get their final twist. The result? Fine all comb thread in strength and weights for the special discipline construction. This machine, the spooler, converts thread from yards into miles of length by tying the ends of bobbins together onto larger spools called cheeses. Now hundreds of these cheeses are wound in carefully spaced parallels onto a big spool called a beam. These flying strands, 500 of them, are to become the warp or lengthwise threads for the loom. For a plaid, colored threads are wound in proper order. Next, slashing, combining seven of these beams onto one. After passing through a special solution to give the threads the added toughness needed for weaving, they emerge at the other end. And now, instead of 500 threads, there are 3,500 in close alignment to give the needed tightness of weave. And so to weaving, the actual making of disciplined cloth. The warp or lengthwise threads from the slasher are now in the loom, where they're interlaced with the filling or crosswise threads. Over and under, the filling flies as the dancing harnesses magically control the warp thread. The result? a brilliant plaid of topmost quality. As it comes off the looms, the finished fabric must be perfect. Inspectors check every yard before any of it is assembled with other fabrics ready for the finishing process. If the yarn was not dyed before weaving, it gets its final color after it's woven in these vats. Or prints are applied by means of copper rollers on which the design has been etched. The cloth then goes through a chemical bath, which sets the dyes permanently, assurance against fading or running when laundered. Then, whether it's dyed, printed, or a woven plaid, it's finally ready for the most important step in its life, the disciplining process. Chemists prepare a complex group of chemicals for each type of fabric to be disciplined. In carefully measured proportions, and under carefully controlled conditions, they're blended together ready to penetrate deep into the heart of the fabric. To show how thorough this penetration is, let's take a piece of fine cotton cloth and magnify it many times so you can see clearly each warp and filling thread. Then let's slice it so you're looking at a cross section of the fabric. Disciplining is not a mere coating of the fabric. It's not a coating of the threads as this cross section shows. It's not a mere coating of the tiny fibers that are twisted together to make thread. Disciplining is the complete permeation of every single tiny cotton fiber. By changing this inner structure of the fiber, this process creates an entirely new material, disciplined cotton. This complete permeation means that these fabrics are disciplined for the life of the cloth. These chemicals are now locked in place by the important curing process with pinpoint accuracy as to time and temperature. Disciplined fabrics are a total achievement, a combination of research in fiber, fabric, and finish. Worked out by painstaking experiments, they're carefully evaluated both by laboratory instruments and service tests. All essential characteristics are then repeatedly tested at every stage of production. Here is proof of the result. Hour after hour, the disciplined fabric on the right demonstrates by comparison to normal fabric on the left what is meant by recovery from wrinkles. Ease of ironing is tested. First, an untreated sample is ironed. The fabric smooths out all right, 
But compare the relative ease of ironing the discipline sample. One stroke and that is all. And summertime mildew doesn't have a chance on discipline fabrics, important in cases of neglect. Caught in a sudden shower, well note how the discipline sample resists while the plain fabric gets soggy and limp immediately. This test illustrates the quality discipline fabrics possess, which resists the wilting action of perspiration and muggy weather. This same feature affords an important degree of soil resistance. This demonstration on crisp tissue plaid, one of the newer disciplining developments, indicates the reluctance of discipline fabrics to absorb waterborne stains. Finally tested and approved by leading magazine. All these things mean easy wearing, easy to care for clothes. For instance, let's follow a day in the life of this golf dress. Crammed in with other clothes, packed for traveling, it's carried for many miles and many hours. And yet, when it emerges from the suitcase, it holds its freshness. And after a short stay on the hangar, remaining wrinkles seem to melt away. Lustrous, smooth, easy to care for, it's right for any occasion. This golf dress can tour 18 holes like a professional. It can develop but lose a thousand wrinkles in the process and still be fresh and attractive at the end of the day. Or the career girl can go through an active day at the office, sure in the knowledge that wrinkles in her dress will bounce right out. And when, after several wearings, it does need freshening up, this disciplined dress washes easily, never needs starch. Irons in a jiffy, the way you've always wanted a fabric to iron. Disciplined fabrics can go anywhere in style and stay looking stylish. These good-natured fabrics don't need pampering, ever. During long trips, disciplined fabrics never develop the usual deep-set creases, but keep their bloom and freshness or they're right in fashion on an afternoon party when you want a fabric that will make you look your best. Discipline fabrics bring you through with that band box look, even when little sister jumps too high and too deep. Playtime can be dress up time too. Discipline fabrics are the answer to a mother's prayer for an easy to care for fabric that can resist even this sort of daily adventure and still look fresh. Discipline fabrics are the answer to our quest for breathless beauty as well as utility. They're a real achievement in service to the consumer. As such, they're a symbol of America's dynamic textile industry and the part it is playing every day to bring finer and better fabrics to consumers in every part of America. They're a symbol of the benefit this exciting age of progress is bringing to men and women in every corner of our great land.